Been looking for weeks. Hope I hit pay dirt this time. Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope. Can't say it does. Oh, that Lauren Winter. Third floor, last door on the left at the end of the corridor. clients by appointment. Wait. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. Put your money on the table. You got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings. It's over, okay? You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Ugh, shit, a cop. I should've known. What do you want, a freebie? Is that it? Yo! Pranked, baby! <laughs> My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. Hey, Johnny's dead, so what difference does it make? I understand, Lauren. I know what you're going through. Oh, yeah? You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. Guess who's back? If we don't find the killer, there'll be other mothers who find their son's body on a deserted wasteland. But, but, but you're right. Why should you care? It's not your problem anymore, right? What do you want to know? Did you suspect anyone after he disappeared? I meet a lot of pretty shady characters in my line of work. Sure, I thought of it at first. But it didn't seem to make any sense. I don't believe any of my clients could have done that to my Johnny and all those other kids. How did your son disappear? He used to go play with the neighborhood kids after school. It was pouring down something awful that day. I'll never forget it. All his friends came home around five. All except him.
You want one? No thanks, I quit. That's brave. Do you know if they found anything on the wasteland? Any leads or witnesses? No. He said you must have run away and you probably end up coming back. His body was found five days later with an origami figure in his hand and an orchid on his chest. Did Johnny live with you? Yes. Of course, I made sure he never met any of my clients. I wanted to stop, you know. But we needed the money. I was trying to earn enough to get us out of here. Time's up, Mr. Shelby. I hope you got what you wanted. Now get out of here. Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail, give me a call. What do you want, asshole? Lauren, is everything all right? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser. You again? You think you're so good, huh? You, you think you're so good, that, huh? Yeah, you, you, you think you're tough, huh? You think you're something special? But can you do this? I will destroy you. I have an army of 60 million subscribers. Look at my muscles. Ha! That's my battle cry. You haters have nothing on me. Asshole. Are you all right? Better than him, I guess. Who is he? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent, and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Well, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Sorry about the mess. 
Mr. Shelby? Yeah. Thanks. Zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. You got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Check. You can pass. Video memo recording, Agent 47023, Nam and Jaden, Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 a.m. Guys? I think there's a dead body there! This is not a joke! This is not a joke, guys! Come on, let's get closer! Get some closer! Look at that, that's a dead body right there. So, anyway, like, if you're sad, don't be sad. <laughs> There's a dead body right there, guys. This is hey, really shocking and there. horrible experience for me. Look how shocked I am. Oh, my God. How many views is this going to get me? Oh, I'm so shocked and sad. I can't believe someone would do this. Leave a like if you are depressed. Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning, they told me to beat you. Now if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. Well, are you coming, Jaden? So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about 6 o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Has the body been identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. Do we know the cause of death? There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned, like the others. JD! Yeah, I'm coming. Any witnesses? None yet. Given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody saw anything. Do you have any leads? My men are going over to scene with a fine tooth comb. If the killer left anything behind, We'll find it. Tony, I don't want to see a single shit stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. 
Has the time of death been established? Based on the rigor mortis, must be less than six hours ago. We should know more once the coroner has had a look. Listen, I, I'm a little busy here. Why don't we discuss all this a little later, back at the office? Oh, no problem. I understand. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. Hey, Jaden. You come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. Harry Cameron, sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Harry Cameron. Traces of blood detected on the fence behind the railroad line. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. Very common. Traces of footprints leading toward the body. They don't look like those of the police. No correlation with the body for the moment. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Very common. Tire tracks on the side of the boat behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Harry, come in. Traces of blood on the railroad track.
dead cat. The FBI doesn't keep files on dead cats. Not yet. signs of violence. His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. Superficial wound on the right thigh. The blood is identical to that on the fence. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. The victim is Jeremy Bowles, declared missing five days ago. See reference file. I think I've seen all there is to see. Harry comment, sample of no interest, comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. from the flower left on the bottom. I'm heading back to the office. You staying? No, I've seen enough. I'm leaving too. A bat. A wolf's head. A crab. Death. Death.
I have the results of your MRI scans. Everything seems to be normal. There is no physical damage from the accident. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. I know it's not easy, but you've got to start over, Ethan. You're not responsible for what happened. It's my fault Jason is dead. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. It was an accident. Accidents happen every day. You can't blame yourself forever for your son's death. How is Sean? I know he's disappointed in me. I'm not the father I used to be. <laughs> he's a great kid, you know. He deserves better. And what about you, Ethan? What do you feel? I stopped living at the same time Jason did. And that car ran into us. Is there something else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? No. No. That's the end of this session. Uh, we'll continue this conversation next week. You were lucky, Ethan. It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. I don't exactly feel lucky, Doctor. I like this. This is cute. I want this inside of me. I don't feel like it. Oh yeah. That's good. Kind of a funny aftertaste though. I haven't been on a seesaw in a long time. What do you think? Yeah. Go play on the swing. I'll push you. Okay.
What about that merry-go-round? I bet I can push you so fast you won't be able to stay on it. Great! Training for astronauts, though. <laughs> hmm. Looks like rain's coming. I think we better go. Okay. You know, sometimes I remember before. I mean, when Jason was still here. Sometimes I wish everything could just be the way it was before. Me too, Sean. Me too. Sure. Go pick a horse and get on. I'll get a ticket. One, please. That's a dollar.
Do you think it's going to take long? No, he should be finished soon. I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. Oh, cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. Jaden, of course. We've been expecting you. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no. Now it's fine. We just have to get to the press conference. We have them every day now. Believe me, it's not always easy finding something to tell them. Fortunately, today we have some news. Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, we met this morning. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get them well together. Do you know how to tie a knot in a necktie? I guess. To be frank with you, I could have done without the FBI on this one, but the press... They're all over us. This origami killer case crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. There are hundreds of killers in this country, but what do you know? This guy is exotic. He leaves flowers and origami figures. Work that one out. Then the press get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it, it's none of my business. No, of course not. All I'm asking is that you make progress, and fast. The press want a perpetrator, and we're gonna have to serve him up on a silver platter. Hmm. Not bad. Oh, go see Charlie and she'll show you to your office. Yeah, check in on the press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate around here. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the club, Jaden. Nice watch. Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. It optimizes everybody's time, and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. Congratulate Larry on my behalf. I'll be sure to do that, sir. Captain Perry said you could show me to my office? Yes, of course. Follow me.
This... this is my office? That's where I was told to take you. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Okay, time to work. Can you do this? Step one, change the office. Killer's car is probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. Hmm, a common species. That doesn't help much. No prints or specific clues. Hmm. Nothing much to go on. Eight victims in the last three years. All boys, aged between nine and thirteen. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. Bodies are found three to five days later. Drowned. In rainwater. Always the same ritual. An origami in the hand, an orchid on the chest. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found, which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Over 3,500 people questioned, over 100 suspects interrogated, not a single lead to go on.
I need to take some. I'm gonna faint if I resist. It's all right. I know I can make it. I know. I know I can make it. Is everything all right, sir? No one. No one will see. This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marsh. Could you please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while, and then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him on one of the wooden horses, and when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. It must have been about... Five thirty, I think. I'm not really sure. What was your son wearing when he disappeared? He was wearing a coat. A brown coat. And a pair of pants. Beige pants. How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? I went for a short walk around the park, just for a few minutes. When I got back, the carousel had stopped, and Sean wasn't there. You say you took your son to the park after school, but you didn't report him missing until 8.15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? I searched the whole neighborhood for him. I, I thought he couldn't have gone far. Did Sean have any particular difficulties, Mr. Mars? Anything that might have caused him to run away? Sean is a sensitive child. Our relationship has been a little difficult recently. Everything okay at school? Any particular problems between you and your wife? Uh, my wife and I have been separated for the last six months. But Sean would not have gone off without telling his mother or me. All right. That's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Do... Do you think the origami killer... Listen, your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple of hours. But what if it is the origami killer? Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. Did they find something? No, nothing yet. But they're gonna keep looking through the night. Do they... do they think it's the origami killer? It, it, it's still too early to say. 
But it is a possibility. What happened, Ethan? How could you lose Sean like that? You should never have taken your eyes off him. I mean, for God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child in the park? Why did you leave him, Ethan? Why? Wasn't it enough losing Jason? I'm sorry. It's not what I meant to say. Good evening. Good evening to you, sir. Can I help you, sir? Well, I hope so. My name's Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Uh, I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I I'd like to ask you a few questions. My son is dead, Mr. Shelby. I have nothing more to say. I also lost someone I loved. I know what you're feeling. Then you will understand that I do not wish to talk about it. You may know something that could help save other people's lives. I was unable to save the life of my own son. I do not see how I could save the lives of other people. Oh, do you sell inhalers? I'm all out and at least I won't go away completely empty-handed. In the back of this door, to the right. Thanks. Good evening, sir. Are you looking for something in particular? Give me what you got in the register. Don't fucking try anything. Open the register, you dumb fuck. Put the money on the counter. Shit, are you deaf or what? Are you gonna open that fucking register or not? No, sir. You do not have the right to steal that money from me. I have worked very hard to earn it. You cannot have it. What did you say? You're out of your fucking mind, man. You don't get it, do you? I'm gonna put a fucking bullet right between your eyes if you don't do what I say now! You shall not be robbing my register, sir. That money is mine. I ask you now to leave before it is too late. Christ! Goddamn idiot! Open the register! Don't, don't make me around. fucking kill you! Yes, don't no, sir. That I cannot do! <clears throat> Thousand thank you, sir. I don't know what would have happened if you had not been here. Well, at least I didn't come by for nothing. Have a nice day. When my boy, Razor, disappeared, I received a letter with a locker ticket inside. Inside the locker, I found this box. I do not understand what it means, but I think it must be a sort of message from the man who took my son from me. Can I?
Please, take the box if it can be of any use to you at all. It did not help me to save Reza, but maybe it will help you find the other little boy. Mr. Shelby! I was beginning to think that there was no good to be found in this place. I can see now that I was wrong. Thank you.